Hi, uh, Andy, Danielle. Thank you so much for the, the time to chat with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. We really appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for having me. Yeah, anytime. Uh, Squealer is a wild ride and <laughs> horrifying and a heart wrenching um, along the way. I, you know, in, in a good way. That's, <laughs> that's meant to be an encouragement. Um, wh where did the idea for the film come from? Why did you want to tell this story? Um, I, I worked on the, just a little bit on the real documentary about, about, uh, uh, w uh Willie Picton, who's, uh, you know, operated just outside Vancouver. And, uh, it sort of stuck with me, this, this, uh, this story that operated on lots of levels about our, uh, about the way we sort of, uh, deal with people that are less fortunate that uh, that you know sort of society cares about them maybe less than other people so it the, the reason he was able to operate for 30 years without being caught was really because uh, of the victims he chose they just were people that didn't have enough support system or people that cared enough about them to to sort of uh, inspire anyone to catch him. And it's uh, terribly sad, really, because he, uh, as I say, he went on for 30 years doing this and, and taking people from the streets of uh, Vancouver and then they're never seen again. Um, and he, he was making sausages. We don't know how many of the girls ended up in sausages, but certainly his sausages were... Uh, very very popular and uh people would line up around the block to get them because they'd they'd sell out so there's a there's a general sort of uh, consensus that there were the, there was certainly some human meat in there um so it's a pretty terrifying story and it's not something that from the 18th century or something it's just a few years ago you know so that for for, for us that was a sort of you know, it's one of those stories you go, wow, you know, how did that, how did that happen sort of thing? But these things, these things do happen. I think that's, the, for, for me, that's the really scary thing is that it happens under our noses in nice places in the world and just outside towns, you know, this sort of stuff goes on. And uh, it's the kind it, of story that really sticks with you, you know, so this yeah. is um, Andy had worked on this many years ago and shared the story with me and we had been wanting to to work on something together. But our schedules were uh, here and there and it actually took us quite a few years before we were able to connect. So I think it was something like six or seven years later where we connected and sat down over lunch one day and said, OK, let's let's finally do this together. What let, Let's let's make a movie what should we do what what should we write what should we write about he said that story that you told me about that pig farmer it's stuck with me for all these years um we both recognize the power in it so that's where we started uh we very consciously did not want to tell it as a true story we said let's let's take the inspiration from this let's be inspired by so that we can also take some liberties we first and foremost wanted to be mindful and respectful to anybody that was associated to the true story especially parents of victims or anything like that so um we did not want to tell the true story so it's inspired by and we wanted to take the other piece of it and honor the horror genre and um and lean into that aspect of it a little bit more so it's a hybrid it's a blend of the two um and we really the, the important thing for us was really to have that you know subtle but through line about that social commentary that Andy's speaking about that um, hopefully we can shine a, a light and hopefully bring a little more compassion to people who are less fortunate maybe don't have as much family looking out for them maybe have their life uh, choices have led them to a, a more dangerous place in life whether it's through drug addiction or sex workers or whatever that is so um, that definitely was something important and a part of the story that we really wanted to tell. Um, 
as filmmakers, we want to tell an entertaining story, but we also want to be responsible filmmakers and try to get some kind of message out there. And that was something that we were both very passionate about. So that's sort of how it all was born. You know, I'm glad you bring that up because I think that's one of the things about this film that that sort of really hits is is how the the value of the unseen or the value of the value of the people on the fringes, because so there there seems like there's just so many scenes of people just ignoring them and they disappear on the streets and they talk about it. Girls have been disappearing around here for years, yeah. and it's like if you. You're going to take out somebody, take out somebody that no one's going to notice is gone. And, and that's, that's so heartbreaking itself. Oh, it's terrible because every single one of them have, have mothers and fathers and in some cases kids. And, you know, they, they, they were all somebody. Everybody was somebody. And, uh, yeah, they did. It's, 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 it's a tragic sort of uh, observation of society when we, when we think, well, no one, you know, how didn't someone catch him? sooner but they didn't the the bottom line to that question is that nobody cared enough yeah and that's a that's a terrible thing to, of a, a, an admission nobody really cared enough about them you know it was just another girl gone missing it's uh yeah shocking it's, it's uh, so uh, you know we hope the movie works on that level and we hope it also sort of delivers on a on a you know basic horror level where it you know there's some things to make you jump and some gore and uh, shocking centric characters to become fascinated by and we really worked on developing um we really focused on the relationships a lot you know i think which may not be as as common in a in like a traditional horror movie like maybe bringing a little more drama to it by developing some of the characters and relationships to hopefully get you to really care about them and be on the journey with them yeah, I mean, and, and I, I appreciated that about the film because this isn't a film that, I mean, it is a film, like you said, that leans into the horror genre. It, it, it gives you the gore. But see, this is what I appreciated about the way that, the way that I saw the gore. The, it, it's not the type of film that makes you go, oh, that's gross. You know, yeah, it's, no, it, it, we it, wanted it, to it stay actually, away from that for sure, absolutely. Yeah, it, 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 it seems to want to make you upset about each. Yeah. Yeah. each victim um i appreciated that about it. It, it and it adds to the social conscience of it if you will um, well thank you it, i mean that's that's exactly you know what we were going for and and i think it was important to tell to tell the story following a, a female character through the story that is trying to you know trying to solve the the problem um because it was somebody it it was it was somebody that but for a little bit of a few changes in her life she could have been one of those girls that's the thing you know that the the any of those girls are only one or two decisions down the road from being from having a you know wonderful career doing something else but the, the, you know a couple of little hiccups and a few bumps and they end up in that situation maybe they you know only going to plan on being in that situation for a few months while they get themselves straight or whatever and of course you know someone like this comes along and takes them it's a and it's not a i mean sadly it's not a it's not a unique story as well it goes on all the time you know this this uh, there's uh i think two two things go along one is that we as a, as a society don't put as much care into some of the people that are less fortunate in that society and there's also um all over the world but you would but particularly in north america there is a certain there's still a, a certain odd um sexual bias that that women are regarded sort of less in in certain societies and it's it's uh it it really is a a case you know that it really is a situation that people um you know they they're far more women 
than men go missing in these sort of in these sort of weird situations um and it's it's partly because i'm sure that they're, they're physically the weaker sex and so maybe slightly easy to overcome and all that sort of thing but there's also a, a sort of subtext there that we that we perhaps don't have the same amount of respect for women that we really should have and i think that's that's a little bit of a thread in the movie whether whether it shows or not i don't know but uh, that's certainly uh, something that i'm very aware of you know I, i've i've seen it in lots of sort of walks of life that uh, that women have a tougher time in in a lot of these situations than men do it's a very it's still a very uh, sort of you know north america is still a sort of macho society where you know men lead and we have this to a certain extent disregard for women and so we wanted to sort of touch on that a bit as well so it's uh and you know if 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 that misses a lot of people which it might i hope they'll still be entertained by the sort of the horror and the you know the the surface level shock and gore of it well, I, I, I think it really comes through. Actually, one of the things that, that I saw within the film, and I know we're, we're running out of time, but uh, is the toxicity of, of men. There aren't, uh, men here are just, they're awful. Uh, and- uh, no, I agree. And uh, even, even the ones on the police force, that, that, that other male cop, and you're just like, oh, come on, man. Yeah. Um, but I certainly- and We sort of watered down the apathy that the, the, the real police had in the real situation. You know, they, they, they there was real, uh, it was really very, it was really toxic. They did not care about these women. And, uh, you know, that's a, that's a brutal admission to any society that we have, you know, part of our society that we just, oh, we well, don't care about them. It's, it's shocking really. So, yeah, I, I hope that that is, it's a sort of fine line. You can't make it, uh, you know, hit them over the head with a hammer about it, but it's certainly there. And I, I, I'm glad that you've picked up on that because it's, it's certainly intentional, that. Uh, absolutely. And uh, I appreciate so much the, the chance to speak with you both. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for your time, Danielle and, and Andy. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. My Thanks. pleasure. Have a great day.